Hi Raymond, what brings you here to the clinic today? Oh, I have elbow pain. Is it just elbow pain? Do you have any pains elsewhere? Yeah, elbow and tightness at, at the my shoulder. shoulder yes. Yeah. Okay. How for how long? About three days. Okay. I discovered the pain after mopping the floor. Mm. After I carry water in the afternoon, in the evening, I discovered that there's some pain in my elbows, and I find that actually it's affecting my shoulder mm. and also my neck. Why don't we just examine your shoulder? For example, when I press. All these areas. Mm. Is it painful? Uh, yeah, it is painful. This okay, yes. so it's at the back. Yes, correct. How about movement of your shoulder? Okay, that's all I can. I can't leave out. Okay. Okay. So, can you bend your hand? Can you move up a little bit? Uh, no, less painful really. Okay. So, what it shows is that's uh, better passive movement than active movement. That shows there's yes, some sir. restriction. Is it due to old age or it's an injury? It's probably a bit of a, like wear and tear. You probably overstrain yourself, like like a sprain and strain sort of situation. What I think you may have is the most common problem, which is a rotator cuff issue. Rotator cuff is the muscles and the tendons that surrounds the mm. shoulder joint. Often it gets a bit of wear and tear, especially if you you know in certain occupations or as we grow older there will be some fraying of the tendons and the muscles around the shoulder and that can cause pain so what are the options available okay the options are take medications physiotherapy change in lifestyle injections will give you a more immediate pain relief and of course things like surgery if we find there's any muscle tear or rotator cuff tear and you have a lot of weakness and pain there's also alternative therapy things like acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine as well so these are some of the therapies Doctor, so if I decided not to do anything will it heal by itself? It might sometimes but it's a big it might because it depends on what is the problem in the first place and usually with uh, shoulder pain and elbow pain if you don't reduce the pain what happens is the pain might heal but it might take a few days a few weeks or even a few months and the problem is waiting too long is that your joint will become stiff after that your muscles will become weak because you don't use it secondly if you don't do anything it will restrict your movement and what you'll get is another problem called frozen shoulder so frozen shoulder will make your movement even worse Number one, you can't move. Number two, I will not be able to move. Just now, for example, I examine your shoulder. You could you could move up to 90 degrees. And then when I try to move it, I could move it further. So that is not a frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder will truly mean that I will not be able to help you improve your movement. So that is a condition you definitely won't want to have. I know that a lot of people say that, oh, you should go physio, mm. this and that. But I was thinking, if not, I can't even move. How, to, how am I going to do my physio? Correct. Then Correct. it really affects your lifestyle. Correct. Uh, physio is important and we will have it concurrent. It will be two methods or even three methods. Medication, injections, physio, as well as a bit of change in lifestyle for the moment. So physio is very important but it is helped along by the various injections and even the medications that uh, I will provide for you. If I decided to take up the treatment you suggested, Will my pain relapse? Usually, as I said, there's a combination. We, do, we don't just treat with injection, we also include physiotherapy and also self-physiotherapy. So together, the chances of it relapsing is lower. The chances of you improving over the long term is much better with the procedures plus the physiotherapy and self-physiotherapy. So after the whole treatment, I still have to continue to exercise? Uh, to... It is self-exercise. Okay, initially we may, re let's say, recommend a formal physiotherapy okay. session, okay. for example, just to teach you exercises. The stretching. Okay. Yes, correct. So once you know it, you have to do it. You basically have to do it for a long period of time to, to make sure that you continue to strengthen your muscles, make sure that your muscles can protect your joints, as well as make your muscles be able to withstand physical stress. So if your muscles are weak, they become easily injured. So that's why it's always good to continue with a program of exercises.